Hi guys, Mike here at tabletbuy.com and today we're going to have a quick look at this uh, new uh, game that NVIDIA released for uh, for their Tegra devices. We have here the ASUS Pad Transformer Prime running on Tegra 3 and the game is Siegecraft THD. So this is a quite new title available out there. Um, it's a medieval themed game, I really liked it. I like it, it remembers me of... Uh, uh, an older game I used to play on my computer, it was called, called Stronghold. And I'm going to have a quick look here. Let's just wait for it to load. Okay, so this is how the graphics look. You have here the option to shop. You can shop a bunch of things. I believe the game is free, but I'm not really sure. And uh, if you want to buy all of these things, you're going to have, to, you can buy uh, coins and you have to pay for those okay so here you can upgrade your uh, machines you can buy coins for here for instance 10,000 coins how much are these gonna cost they don't okay they're gonna cost one dollar for 10,000 coins which is actually not that uh, expensive Alright, so the weapon upgrades, for instance, if you want to buy the faster firing, it's only gonna cost you 100. And it's a, a massive upgrade from 2.6 to 2.2 seconds. You can fire two bolts at once. So, a bunch of different upgrades. Of course, you can earn those coins by yourself. You have the options here, you have the sound effects and the music, you have the aim assist and all this. Uh, helpful things. Okay, let's go ahead and play. Uh, first, I'm going to show you the single player. There are a bunch of different missions, and uh, I've, I've gotten to this one. It's like the fifth or something. Oh, actually, I didn't save my progress, so this is just the first. I'm going to have to hit all these targets here with my war machine. Okay, so I hit a couple of the soldiers of, as well. I get extra points for the soldiers. So this is just the first mission. They get a bit more difficult as we progress. You can see that the hard, the graphics are actually very nice on this one. Okay, so that was the first mission. Mm, this mission actually show, uh, teaches me how to use the catapult. Okay, I missed. Too bad. So if I would have hit, an, hit some of those soldiers, I would have got extra... Let's try and hit the soldier. Okay, so that was wasn't that difficult, and these barrels are exploding. So it was a fairly simple mission in here. Like I said, these are just the first mission. They get a lot more challenging as you progress. Okay, in this one you have to use the trebuchet to hit this upgrade, and it will offer you some firing catapults and I don't have the firing catapult anymore but I can kill some of the ships in the meantime and here we go we have the upgrade again so you can see that you have all these upgrades for your weapons they're available here in the corner. You can purchase them and you will learn you will uh, earn them in time as you advance. The interface is very cool here. You so here are the upgrades. You have fire and ice and exploding barrels and all this stuff. Uh, actually I don't have any of those, but you can see that you can scroll around here and see what's happening. So it's a Pretty interesting games here, I must say. Okay, what's happening to my catapult? 
Let's hit restart this level. Don't really know how many levels are there. There definitely is something wrong. Okay, here we go. Bloody good shot. All right. So I have explosive. Okay, let's hit it here. Explosive catapult shot. So I have to get rid of all this ships. It's a, mainly a game of physics. You have to uh, calculate how fast the ships are moving and how long it takes for the uh, rock to get there, and then you have to hit them. It's, hit them. It's not very complicated. Of course, if you don't like the blood on there, you can uh, eliminate it. There are some options. It's a bit more complicated. I have to hit these moving targets, and it's not really that simple. You're going to see that this is a lot more complicated than you might think. Luckily, we have the exploding barrels, but uh, I don't want to use them as soon. I'm going to need them later. So this is just another level here. Okay, so there are some weather effects as well. Okay, I've missed it. So these are the bandits here. Oh, uh, where did you go? Had to use this. So the game is not really that complicated, at least at this level, but it can definitely get a lot more complicated at higher levels. Okay, so you saw a thunderbolt. Very nice effects on this uh, on this title. Yeah, okay. So one more bandit to kill here, and we're good to go. So here we are. And when it, the level finishes, you get this nice effect. So, okay, we're going to try just one more level, and then I'm going to show you the multiplayer. And as you advance, like I said, okay, you will earn, you will be able to buy all these things. Uh, here I have a catapult, and I have to kill the, these UFOs that are advancing. You can see that this is not very fast and it would have been nice to have the upgrade for uh, for the speed, for the recharging speed of my catapults. They shouldn't be able to kidnap those cows. Okay, that's it. Okay, let's go exit here. And if you go in shop now and have enough money, you should be able to buy upgrades. For instance, my weapon upgrades, I'm going to buy an upgrade for the catapult. But I actually don't have enough money, so let's buy an upgrade for this. So now it fires a lot faster and I've spent some of my coins. And there's also the multiplayer split screen, which is quite alright. And I think you have a couple of different options here. Samurai versus Vikings. All right, let's see what this is. King of the Hill. All right, so I have to. Each player has. A, each player has a control of one of the sides here. And now I'm trying to control them both, but uh, it's not that easy. So you have to destroy the advancing army here. If you're trying to play with all of those, uh, might not be that easy, but uh, overall, this game is quite fun, I, I would say. So it can be a lot of fun 
if you're playing with your friends I'm not using the catapult here and I believe we can also destroy the weapons of your adversary cool, it's a very cool game here I would say and there are a couple of different ways playing ways here that bloody wall is killing my things here so you should wait for it 80 seconds and see what's gonna happen okay so that was actually the game and have some other uh, some other multiplayer options as well let's go ahead and see what you also have king of the hill which is the time match and you have the two towers there are two this one i've tried before there are two moving towers and you can actually you need to hit them so you have once again your your weapons and there's the catapult and you have to hit the opposing moving tower and which uh, which one uh, destroys the tower first is gonna win the game so overall it's a very nice feature as well but like i said it's a game you should play with a multiplayer you put a tablet between you and your friends and then you just start playing all right so that was those were most of the things i wanted to show you about siegecraft dhd this is a game you're finding in tegra zone it works on tegra uh, tablets this one is running on tegra 3 and so you saw that it was flawless the graphics are quite nice but uh, it should be okay on some uh, other uh, on some other older tablets as well you can see that even in single player you have a bunch of different gaming types over here so uh, it's quite uh, quite an interesting uh, quite an interesting title. Okay, that's it for now. More details are available on the site on tabletbuy.com, and of course on our YouTube channel. Thank you, Mike here with uh, Siegecraft THD game for Tegra powered uh, Android uh, tablets.